the Mariana Trench, the deepest depths. This image of the Challenger in the Mariana Trench, the deepest place on Earth, was made with sound waves reflected off the sea floor. The darker blue colors denote deeper patches. The Mariana Trench is a crescent-shaped depression in the western Pacific Ocean, east of the Mariana Islands near the island of Guam. The region surrounding the trench is notable for its many unique conditions. The Mariana Trench contains the deepest known points on Earth, vents bubbling with liquid sulfur and carbon dioxide, active mud volcanoes, and marine life adapted to pressures 1,000 times higher than sea level. Is there life in the depression? How was it formed, and what was James Cameron doing there? Interesting, isn't it? I'll tell you about that in this video. And what do you know about the Mariana Trench, write about it in the comments, and not to miss the release of new and equally interesting videos of my channel, subscribe and do not forget to turn on notifications. The Challenger Deep, located in the southern part of the Mariana Trench, sometimes called the Mariana Trench, is the deepest place in the ocean. Its depth is difficult to measure from the surface, but current estimates vary by less than 1,000 feet, 305 meters. In 2010, the depth of the Challenger Deep was determined to be 36,070 feet, 10,994 meters, as measured by sonic pulses sent across the ocean during a National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration NOAA, survey. In 2012, filmmaker and deep-sea explorer James Cameron descended to the bottom of Challenger Deep, briefly reaching 35,756 feet, 10,898 meters, during a 2012 expedition. But it could have sunk a little deeper. A 2014 study of the seafloor published by researchers at the University of New Hampshire says the bottom of Challenger Deep is 36,037 feet, 10,984 meters deep. The second deepest place in the ocean is also in the Mariana Trench. Siren, which is 124 miles, 200 kilometers east of Challenger's depth, is 35,462 feet, 10,809 meters deep. By comparison, Mount Everest is 29,026 feet, 8,848 meters, above sea level, meaning that the deepest part of the Mariana Trench is 7,044 feet, 2,147 meters, deeper than the height of Everest. The Reserve Land. The Mariana Trench is 1,580 miles, 2,542 kilometers, long, more than five times the length of the Grand Canyon. However, the narrow hollow averages only 43 miles, 69 kilometers, in width. Because Guam is U.S. territory, and the 15 northern Mariana Islands are a U.S. Commonwealth, the United States has jurisdiction over the Mariana Trench. In 2009, President George W. Bush established the Mariana Trench Marine National Monument, which created a protected marine reserve for some 195,000 square miles, 506,000 square kilometers, of seabed and waters surrounding the outer islands. It includes most of the Mariana Trench, 21 underwater volcanoes, and areas around three islands. How the Trench was formed. The Mariana Trench was created by a process occurring in the subduction zone, where two massive plates of oceanic crust collide. In the subduction zone, one piece of oceanic crust collides with the other and pulls under each other, sinking into the Earth's mantle. Where the two pieces of crust intersect, a deep trench, depression, is formed over the bend of the sinking crust. In this case, the crust of the Pacific Ocean sags below the Philippine crust. The age of the Pacific crust, also called the tectonic plate, is about 180 million years, where it sinks into the trench. The Philippine plate is younger and smaller than the Pacific plate. In subduction zones, the cold dense crust sinks back into the mantle and collapses. As deep as the trough is, it is not the place closest to the center of the Earth. Because the planet is convex around the equator, the radius at the poles is about 16 miles, 25 kilometers, less than the radius at the equator. Thus, parts of the Arctic Ocean seafloor are closer to the center of the Earth than the Challenger Trench. The water pressure at the bottom of the depression is more than 8 tons per square inch, 703 kilograms per square meter. This is more than 1,000 times the pressure felt at sea level, or equivalent to the pressure of 50 jets piled on top of a person. Unusual Volcanoes A chain of volcanoes that rise above the ocean waves and form the Mariana Islands form the crescent-shaped arc of the Mariana Trench. The islands are home to many strange underwater volcanoes. For example, the underwater volcano of Fuku spews liquid carbon dioxide from hydrothermal vents that look like chimneys. The liquid coming out of these chimneys has a temperature of 217 degrees Fahrenheit, 103 degrees Celsius. 
At the underwater volcano Dokoku, scientists found a pool of molten sulfur 1,345 feet, 410 meters, below the ocean surface, something not found anywhere else on Earth. Life in the trough. Recent scientific expeditions have discovered a surprising variety of life in this harsh environment. Animals living in the deepest parts of the Mariana Trench survive in total darkness and extreme pressure. Food in the Mariana Trench is extremely limited because the deep gorge is far from land. Leaves, coconuts, and trees rarely make it to the bottom of the hollow, and dead plankton descending from the surface must swim thousands of feet to reach Challenger Hollow. Instead, some microbes feed on chemicals such as methane or sulfur, and other creatures devour marine life down the food chain. The three most common organisms at the bottom of the Mariana Trench are xenophyophers, amphipods and small sea cucumbers, holothuria. The single-celled xenophyophers are like giant amoebas, they feed by surrounding and ingesting food. Amphipods are shiny, shrimp-like scavengers that are usually found in deep water troughs. Holothuria may be a new species of bizarre, translucent sea cucumbers. These are some of the deepest holothuria ever observed, and they were relatively abundant. Scientists also identified more than 200 different microorganisms in mud collected from Challenger's depths. The mud was transported to the lab on land in special canisters and carefully stored under conditions simulating crushing cold and pressure. During Cameron's 2012 expedition, scientists also discovered microbial mats in the depths of the Siren, an area east of the Challenger Deep. These clusters of microbes feed on hydrogen and methane produced by chemical reactions between seawater and rocks. But the deceptively vulnerable-looking fish are not only at home here, they are also one of the region's top predators. In 2017, scientists reported that they had managed to collect specimens of an unusual creature, called the Mariana snail, which lives at a depth of about 26,200 feet, 8,000 meters. The snail's small, pink, and scaleless body is unlikely to survive in such a harsh environment, but this fish is full of surprises, according to the new study. The animal appears to dominate this ecosystem, climbing deeper than any other fish and taking advantage of its lack of competitors by consuming the abundant invertebrate prey that inhabit the depression, the study authors write. Pollution at depth. Unfortunately, the ocean depths are a potential sink for discarded pollutants and debris. A recent study by a research team led by Newcastle University shows that chemicals banned in the 1970s are still lurking in the deepest parts of the ocean. When sampling amphipods, shrimp-like crustaceans, from the Marianas and Kermadec trenches, researchers found extremely high levels of persistent organic pollutants, POPs, in the organism's fatty tissues. Among them were chemicals commonly used as electrical insulators and flame retardants. These substances were released into the environment by industrial accidents and leaks in landfills from the 1930s until the 1970s, when they were finally banned. We still think the deep ocean is a remote and pristine realm, safe from human exposure, but research shows that, unfortunately, this is no longer the case. In fact, the amphipods in the study contained pollution levels similar to those found in Saruga Bay, one of the most polluted industrial areas in the Pacific Northwest. Because harmful substances cannot decompose naturally, they persist in the environment for decades, ending up on the ocean floor in the form of contaminated plastic debris and dead animals. The contaminants are then passed from creature to creature through the ocean food chain, eventually leading to chemical concentrations far in excess of pollution levels at the surface. The fact that such unusual levels of these pollutants have been found in one of the most remote and hard-to-reach habitats on Earth clearly demonstrates the long-term and devastating impact that humanity is having on the planet. Researchers say the next step is to understand the effects of this pollution and how it affects the ecosystem as a whole. People in the Hollow in 1875, the hollow was discovered by the ship Challenger using newly invented sounding equipment during a circumnavigation of the globe. In 1951, the depression was probed again by the Challenger 2. The Challenger Trench was named after these two vessels. In 1960, the deep water boat the Bathysk of Trieste reached the bottom of the Challenger Trench. It was the first vessel to carry U.S. Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh and Swiss scientist Jacques Picard. In 1995, the Japanese unmanned submarine Kaiko collected samples and useful data from the trench. In 2009, the U.S. sent the hybrid remotely operated vehicle Narius to the bottom of the Challenger Trench. The vehicle remained on the seafloor for nearly 10 hours. In 2012, Cameron operated a deep-sea bathyscaph and reached the seafloor but could not take any pictures because of a hydraulic fluid leak. The submersible was later donated to the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. If you were interested, thank the author by putting a like.
and also do not forget to subscribe so as not to miss the outputs of even more interesting videos of my channel. Turn on notifications by clicking on the bell and share this video with your friends. What else interesting can you add to this video? Write in the comments, it will be interesting to read.